Hello everyone and welcome back to Neoberg. We are playing Transport Fever 2 and this is our most recent save. Um, I don't know why I said our most recent save. Um, but yeah, we last time put in a connection through from uh, Burglemarsh through to Alfred and that seems to be working quite well. Um, I wouldn't say that we're necessarily breaking even with it just yet. But it is definitely um, moving a lot of stuff from A to B, which is exactly what we need from it. It's um, hopefully going to be taking um, all of the um, goods from Alfred through to Bergmarsh and vice versa. Um, one thing that I noticed, actually, uh, was it here? No, it wasn't here. Um, where was it? Where did I notice something? I noticed something was off with the uh, connections. Oh, actually, that's going. We kind of want to try and save that, but considering this is as down as it can go, and it's quite literally going through, I don't know whether we'll be able to connect this up. Um... That might be a oh well situa situation, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we've we've connected up um, Alfred and Burglemarsh here with one line rather than two, connecting them through down to here. So if we just double check on that line, a lot of it's going through to both of the um, actual stops which is quite good um, and then we've got a fair bit going to Dover as well so we'll need to keep an eye on that but as things unfold hopefully they can be um, altered slightly in fact I have another idea for um, for Dover which is that we move it over to where the Bawtry connection is and then that way we can connect in straight to the um, connections over here via Bawtry. And hopefully that would allow us to take out the um, Dover connection. Although we might keep it in just for the, um, the wood and the uh, planks here. Uh, maybe even... Will it reach to the fuel? No, I don't think it will. Um, it really depends what we do here, uh, but that's for another day. Um, what I really want to do in this episode is connect in this area down here. So what we're going to do there, um, if I just go through it, is basically we're going to be connecting in all of these cargo um, factories and what have you to our lower south world, world um, connection down here as we can see uh, the interlink connection is actually already working pretty well for the um, crude oil and factory the tools factory that we've got here so we just need to ensure that it connects up to all these other things so what we're going to do and uh, we might as well just get on with it, is put in a, we might as well do a end stop up here. In fact, no, if we do the through station, then we can use them either way. So we're going to put in a station here. Let's just alter the roads here slightly. Just so that hopefully, these connect into in fact we're gonna have a lot of cargo f going through these stops so first thing we want to do is upgrade not only the length of the station which should hopefully ensure that the trains that we put through them are catered for So 
So if we put in the platforms, there we go. Um, if we put in some larger cargo buildings, hopefully that should ensure that any of the cargo that hasn't made it through yet will be stored and not be lost. Um, so I'm just going to use some smaller ones so that it tapers at the edge. Just remove that one, put that in like so. So we'll do something like this. Like so. And then hopefully that will connect to these three um, cargo stops around here. Um, but we will need to put in other connections as well. So let's just try connecting those in. Let's make sure that there's a connection there. In fact, we'll use the larger of the roads. Why not? I don't know why it has such trouble with just staying flat. up around this then hopefully we can connect that in to this road and also connect this in to this road not that it really matters and then we can do out from here, keeping it flat, connecting it into there. So does that connect? No, not quite. They're so close. So if we put in some steps at the very edge, that should definitely ensure that these are connected in. Can we just upgrade that road? Yeah, through, like so. Um, there we go, that's definitely connected now, which is good. And we can do a similar thing up here, where we can connect these roads up. down here and then hopefully that connects there and then on this side we just need to do the same so this would just be for access so we'll just use the smaller of the roads So then that connects there as well. Cool. So from here, we can do connections to the grain farm, the oil well, and the other forest. And then we've also got connections potential down to the oil well, uh, refinery down here, and also the sawmill and materials plant here. So that's pretty good. Um, but we will be connecting it through from here as well. So uh, it might be worth us actually having a second station here, which would be around this point. Um, if we just remove this road out, we can
can then put in a station here. In fact, I don't know whether we even need that much of a connection here. We could get away with just a simple two connection. So we'd be connecting through to this train station down here. Hopefully that goes clean over and it does go clean over this area here. However, we will need this to cross over. So we will connect these back up with the ground. Get some high quality uh, dirt in on that action. And then from here, this train line just needs to connect in down here. So it's quite a ravine here actually. Um, so if we just use that should go all the way through like so and then if we do a similar thing here where we add cargo capacity with the cargo buildings doesn't need quite as many So we'll do something like that. And then what we could even do is connect this through on this side, um, which may work a little bit better than having a um, connection all the way through from the other one. Ah. There's too much slope there. Um, so if we just do a direct connection in from that one, this will probably be going soon anyway. We can connect that in there. And then we can connect through from this way. do this raising up it should be able to go over these tracks and then we may even be able to connect in on this side from here So that should then allow the road connections through, which it is, that's good. And then we can connect in from this side. to here 
And then hopefully that connects to both of these, which it does. And we should be able to connect all of these together really well then. Um, in fact, this one only really needs an oil and a flat car can probably connect through down here as well. I wonder whether we could do a flat car that connects through on this side and then connects down to here. And then we could use the other side for oil, maybe? I don't know. Um, and then we've got a grain farm here as well which we need to connect in which is fine um, the most things that are going to come through here is uh, oil really um, oil crude oil and then also uh, flat car side stakes and uh, gondolas for the stone so we've got a fair bit that comes down this way uh, so that would connect in over here, so we'll need to put in a, most probably just a little stop here, that can connect in there, and then we need this to move a little bit over so if we did another connection here for this connects there. The only question is whether it's too high for that to connect in, which might be a bit of a problem. Nope. That works fine. That connects down there. through we'll do the same on this side so we will do most probably steps there which will connect here oh wow why is it There we go, that connects up. And then we could probably even do a little connection down here. that up down that way and then it just connects through via road makes it a little bit more realistic so to speak um, and then we'll need a, a line coming up this way we might as well connect it up to the other side because the other side will have a flat car side stake going through anyway so we'll do that And then we'll connect up these areas. Um, we will need a 
another stop down here, which may be a little bit tricky to fit in. We'll do our best here. So if we do a road at this point, that can connect in there. And then hopefully we can do a train line out this way. Yes, that works. And we'll need a train line back up to here. Uh, so how those will cross back will have to be a little bit complicated, but we can do it that way. Um, no, we can't actually. Hmm. We'll have to do a crossing here. And then these ones will be... So those ones will be going through that way. These ones will be coming back this way. And it'll be a non-one way there. And then down here, we should just be able to take out these bits and then use just dirt, um, just so that we can put in the crossings down at this point. So on this side, we'll need a flat car to come over here. And we'll do the same on the other side with this station. And then on this side, we'll need a train station down here. We'll put it further back just so that it can hopefully reach here. Because it is quite a fair distance down. Oh, those don't actually connect. That was a bit of a pain. Um, we could put a little road here. Have these connect this way. So then that connects to the oil. And this is a fair ways down, so I don't know whether this is going to connect in. No, it can't. Hmm, that complicates matters a little bit. And it's a bit of a pain because we have a um, oil line coming from this direction. So what if we... that connect in a different way. Say if we put the station this way around maybe. Maybe put it up as high as possible. Can those connect in there? No, not really. Hmm, okay. First off, let's try and get around this. Nope, that's not going to work. We'll have to go around this road a different way. So we will be connecting this in. Yeah. 
assemble the thing here. Connect that in there. So that train station connects there. We'll just have to do some sort of um, almost a circular way around here. Just double check that this can do that same. Yep, that can. And then we connect that in there. And hey presto, it's all connected up. Not the most elegant of ways, but it is connected up. And that's the main thing. So, <clears throat> we have a line here, which we'll do um, oil. So, crude oil from here will go up and then back through this way and then down that way. Let's just color that a little bit. Easier of a colour to see on the very white background. Down here we wanted to go to number two as well. So that line may have a couple of different um, trains on it, which is absolutely fine. And then on this side we would want a stop over here so we'll, if we take out this road which is kind of pointless anyway because we've got a connection through here we can put in a road here and then we can do Stop. It's actually quite flat here, which is really good. In fact, we can continue this road out a little way. That can connect in there. This can connect up here. Like so. And then we just need to do a connection between those two. So if we do a route through from there to there, maybe if we just move this road for the time being, And be able to do this a little bit better here. There we go. So this will be coming down the same way. And this will be for our flat car with side stakes. So that will work quite well. Um, we could even do the road underneath here so it doesn't have to interact with everything on the other side. So we're doing a flat car with side stakes here. We'll go through that station and go down there and then come back. This one needs to go on number two. So at Helsham, it will use number one 
and it can use number two as well. Hellstrom number three, it will use number one, and then it can use number two as well. Cool. Um, so that's that line, and then we've got another line here, which will be just from there down to here. Nice and simple. Down here, fill up, might as well. Uh, use number one, go to number two. Up here, go to number two, can go to number one. It's literally just going to be picking up grain and dropping it off. Um, cool. Okay. So we also need to do the um, other line. In fact, I'll save that for now. Um, how? What sort of height difference does it, do these have? Hopefully not too great a difference. So if we connect this in over here, hopefully that's not too different height wise. Maybe if we just raise it up a little bit, there we go. This will be connecting to ah, uh, there to the uh, thingamabob. And the Ujima flip. Uh, it's my main vocabulary. That is a thingamabob, and bits and bobs, and Ujima flips. And that will connect down there quite nicely, actually. And it will come back up to here. We can take out the first chunk, make that. Oh, it's already done it as just ground, so that's nice. And we may even be able to connect in on the other side of this, so... go that connects quite nicely So that just uh, finalizes that connection there. So we need to do a connection probably for this. Um, all mine and also down here for the. Um, logs, so we would need to do. How flat is it around here? Not very is the answer. Um, we probably need to do a train line through something like this coming down to here. And 
going back. And then do a flat road through. We can just take this in. We don't need to worry about it. Um, we would need a connection on this side though. So if we just take out this road for now, and if we put in a road on the other side of here, we should hopefully be able to do Connection here. Although that's a lot higher than I anticipated. It's further down, about there. I think that should be perfect. <laughs> he says. Ah, there we go. There we go. So we've now got a connection there. We just need... How high... What's the height difference between these? So this is at 16 metres and this is at 30. So it does need to go down a little bit. So on this side, we need to go down... And then if we take out this road for the time being, for that side would connect in there. This one connect in there. We'll just take out that chunk and connect these up with a hill instead of a tunnel. And then what we can do is connect these two through. Ah, I would have thought that would have connected in a little bit easier. That's okay. We can do something a little bit more. Wily, and that will be fine. And we might even be able to connect this back in if we use one of these instead. I mean, it's not at the end of the world if it doesn't connect in, but it might be quite nice to have just a little connection there. Um, so down here, we need this to cross over, like so. And we might as well put in the stops. Like so, he says, there we go. Oh, we've got a, um, a bridge here. We don't want a slow bridge, so let's take that out and put in... Uh, I mean, I might as well just keep it dirt, to be honest with you. It's not the end of the world. Right, so this will be a little bit different because we'll need great, uh, coal and ore to come down here. So we'll need a crossing. So I think I'll do one a little bit further out from this. Something like that. And then we'll do non-one ways on this side. So that should then allow the traffic to come back through up here we'll do a similar thing a crossing he says maybe we won't 
Um, maybe we'll do one a little bit further along, like so, and then non one way is there, but one way there. So then we'll need probably a couple of stops between those, and then hopefully that will be everything sorted there. Um, one thing to bear in mind is that we haven't actually connected up these roads. So if we just do, maybe it would work just as a road through. Yeah, because we can put the bridge in. That's absolutely fine like that. So I think is more, makes more sense if we continue this road through like so, and then connect that one there. Just personally, I think that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, we've got a connection down here. We've got a connection here. We've got a potential for a line to go between them. And then we've got a connection down here. So we can have the logs come through, picking up steel as well, dropping off steel there, and come down to this point. So that will be quite an effective little line. Just like so. And then we'll need one more between these two. So this will use number one, but it can use number two. And this will use number two, but it can use number one. Okay, this line down here can use number two, over here can use number two, or number, oh actually it needs to be the other way around. There we go. Cool. So now all of these are connected up. Uh, we have lines to them, so that's working quite well. And obviously we've got these connections here as well, where they're between these different points of um, the, fa the uh, factories and what have you. So hopefully we can put in a line the other side of the river as well. Um, maybe even just continue it through. So have a circular line going one way and the other way. Uh, I don't really know about that. Um, still quite up in the air about that. Um, so that will be a line that goes through down to here and drops off everything that it picks up from these. So we'll need gondola, flat car, a tank car, and probably a box car as well because of the uh, plastic. Um, but that will be quite a busy little line. And um, it will work quite well, hopefully. Uh, we just need to put everything in place for that. So, um, I'm going to leave this here because we'll continue on the other side in the next episode. Um, but hopefully that gives quite a good impression as to what the direction is that we're going with these uh, train lines um, down this way. So we've connected up all of this side of the uh, cargo. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this episode with your thumbs. If your thumbs don't cut it, then let me know with a comment. But other than that, have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.